What's up? What's up? What's up, you guys? What's up? How you doing today? It's your guardian with Skinny Boy Randy, where beginners and experts are always welcome. I'm looking the wrong way. How y'all doing today? Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're new to the channel, click like and subscribe. Leave a thumbs up, thumbs down, just not the two middle fingers. Okay, okay. Thank you so much for being here. Also, if I can't answer a question here, head on over to the Facebook group. That's Gardening with Skinny Boy Randy, where beginners and experts are welcome as well. I just wanted to make a short, quick video for you, I promise on seven crops that you can grow at the last minute mid to late october for your fall and winter gardening forgive me if i keep looking at the other way y'all i'm looking at myself and i need to be looking at y'all okay thank you so much for being here if nobody told you they love you today skinny boy randy loves you don't forget share the video leave a comment all that good stuff check out instagram and twitter so first crop garlic you guys don't forget to get your garlic in the ground it's an easy crop to grow you may see it sprout because the weather is still kind of warm here in Zone 7, Richmond, Virginia. But that's okay. If it sprouts a little bit, just leave it be. It'll get cold soon enough. And then all the action will happen under the ground. And you will have garlic come uh, late spring to early summer of next year. So get your garlic in the ground. The second crop, radishes. Get you some radishes in the ground. They germinate within four to five days, you guys, sometimes quicker than that. And you'll have radishes in about 25 to 35 days. Very easy crop to grow. You don't need fertilizers and all that stuff. You can just drop them in some regular old gardening soil and they'll come right on up for you. So don't forget your radishes. Number three, beets. Beets can take a while to grow, but if you're patient, you can just let them sit in the ground and if the root bulb forms, good. If not, you can eat the tops. Yes, you can eat the tops off of your beets. Yes, you guys, you can put them in your salads and you'll get a, a nice beet flavor to your salads or whatever you like to eat your beets with. But yeah, get your beets in the ground and they will come up for you as well in your fall and winter garden. Number four, bunching onions. Yes, you guys, sometimes I forget to tell you about the bunching onions, but they're a very easy crop to grow. You can plant hundreds of seeds together and they'll come up. Whether you get the actual onions or not, it doesn't matter. You can clip Sorry, I'm looking the other way again. You can clip the uh, the onions as they come up and use them just like regular onions and they taste pretty much the same. So, number five, get your, <clears throat> excuse me you guys, the wind is blowing and it may be some pollen in the air. Okay, I ain't gonna wanna be going to the hospital even though I'm already at the hospital, but I'm here to work, not to be a patient. Okay, <laughs> thank you guys so much. Shout out and blessings to everyone who uh, maybe in the hospital or on their way to the hospital or just getting out of the hospital. May God bless you. But yeah, uh, where we at? Number five. Number five, you guys, don't forget to get your turnips. If you like turnips or if you don't like turnips, I love turnips. You can eat the leafy greens or you can eat the root ball. I'm waiting on some of my turnips to come up and they're taking a very, very long time. But hey, patience is key. Number six carrots you can start your carrots in containers or if you have a nice soft spot in your garden you can put them directly in the ground carrots are easy crop to grow they take a while to germinate but you just want to keep them cool don't let them get overheated and they will produce carrots for you they take a while you guys just let your carrots be plant them and forget them and finally last but not least number seven you guys your number seven crop you can grow right now are your leafy greens, and I'm just gonna put all that in one category. Leafy greens, um, your arugulas, your um, anything leafy greens, your salad greens, your micro greens, all those greens you can put in the ground right now for your fall and winter crops, and they will give you a harvest. So I hope these tips help you out a little bit, and I hope I said seven. Did I say seven? I hope I did. Okay, you guys. Thank you guys so much for being here. Don't forget to click like and subscribe. Give a thumbs up, thumbs down. And also, live, love, laugh, you guys. Grow stuff and eat it. You're the best.